Hey everyone, Gron K for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, we'll cover the new Segment Connect workflow in the Flame 2017 products. In a nutshell, you can have multiple copies of a segment that can be across a sequence or numerous sequences that are all synced together. For example, if you're using the same graphic across multiple sequences, any changes you make can affect the graphic over all the sequences. This is a massive time saver for loads of use cases including versioning. But a very big point I want to stress is that you do not need to set up the Connected Conform workflow in order to use Segment Connect. Segment Connect can be used across any independent sequences as long as they all reside in the same Reels group. This video is not footage specific so you can use your own media to follow along. So starting in Flame, we've been working on a production campaign that consists of a number of edits. I have three, but you could have as many as you like. Now even though these sequences are part of the same campaign, the footage is completely different in each sequence. The common factor between all these productions will be a common logo and a disclaimer. So at the end of the dance sequence, I have already inserted the logo on the second track and composited it with a batch effects composite. This needs to be copied to the other sequences to establish the link in the campaign. Now anyone working in production knows that there will always be fixes and last minute changes. Even something like logos and disclaimers are no exception. So before copying and pasting individual copies of the segment, select it and call up the contextual menu. Here you will find an option to create segment connection. When you select this item, you will see a chain icon appear on the chosen segment. Any copies we make of this segment will now be connected together. Once again, I'll reiterate that you do not need to perform the whole connected conform workflow just to have a few connected segments like this one. All you need to do is copy the segment with Control C. Next, switch to the Beauty sequence and move the positioner towards the end of the sequence. Ensure the focus point of the positioner is on an empty track and press Control V to paste the connected segment. The chain symbol is also present, indicating the connected status of the segment. Now the graphic is slightly short in this edit. However, you can still trim out the segment if handles are available. So even though the one segment is a different length compared to the other, they are still connected together. Finally, switch to the bloke sequence and paste the connected segment again at the end of the sequence. This will also need to be trimmed out to the end of the shot. So flicking through each of the sequences, they all have the same logo and disclaimer at the end. Now let's say after doing all of this, Someone reads the disclaimer and finds a typo. The text should say based on an actual person instead of based on a actual person. In this case, you can go into batch effects and go into the text editor. You can select the problem area and correct the typo. When you exit the editor and batch effects, the typo has been fixed for this particular sequence. When you switch between other sequences, the typo is still in every other sequence. This is where it can be painful to go through each sequence and fix the typo. If you have 40 or 50 sequences, this is not funny. So with the segment connect, you can switch back to the dance sequence which contains the fixed version of the disclaimer. Select the segment and call up the contextual menu. You will now see an option called Sync Connected Segments. When you choose this, all the other connected segments will update with the changes. As a tip, you could click the different tabs to switch sequences, or you can call up the contextual menu again and go to Jump to Connected Segment. Here you will find all the sequences which share the connected segment. So choosing any of them will take you to that sequence as well as the relevant connected segment. 
so all the sequences were updated just by syncing the connected segment. Now let's take this one step further. Swipe over to the reels and scroll each sequence to the very end. Let's say the producers got involved again. This time they have signed off on the dance sequence, but they want you to reposition the logo to the left for the bloke and beauty sequences. Now if you were to make a change now and sync the connected segments, all the sequences will update. So we need to disconnect or remove the segment connect from the dance sequence to prevent any changes. You can do this in one of two ways. You could move this into a separate reels group that permanently breaks the sync. Alternatively, you could go to the dance sequence and select the connected segment. Call up the contextual menu and choose Remove Segment Connection. The chain icon disappears off the clip, indicating a permanent break in the sync. You could undo this instantly to restore the connection, but once the sync is removed, you cannot restore it later on without creating a new segment connect. Please remember that. Now switch over to the beauty sequence. Select the connected segment and go into batch effects. I'll quickly go into action and reposition the logo to the left of the screen. So that looks much better. Now exit batch effects. Looking at the reels, you can see the beauty sequence is updated, but not the bloke sequence. In the beauty sequence, select the connected segment and call up the contextual menu. Choose Sync Connected Segments. The bloke and the beauty sequences have updated, but the dance sequence has not changed because we removed the segment connection earlier in the video. So there are the three sequences with the logo and the disclaimer, bringing them all into the same production campaign. As this video concludes, I'd like to point out that the segment connect can be a media clip or a gap clip. You can copy and paste it multiple times in the same sequence or across multiple sequences. So it can be applied in so many different scenarios as a big time saver, especially for those last minute changes. Finally, please remember that Segment Connect operates independently from the Connected Conform workflow, so it's easy and quick to use. Be sure to check out the other videos covering the features, workflows and updates to the Flame 2017 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos.